It was a hard-fought series and a, a wild night turned into a very dangerous situation in that city. And our Josh Elliott, Elliott has been tracking all of this overnight nasty. Yeah, as we can see, I mean, it was a terrifying scene there in Vancouver. Angry fans obviously pouring out into the streets. Emotion heightened as four stabbings in its result were reported. The scene so chaotic and violent, ambulances actually couldn't get through to help those injured. Vancouver transformed into a war zone. Fires erupted in busy downtown intersections. Flames shot 30 feet into the air. Storefronts smashed by looters grabbing everything in sight as people dangled from light poles, while police in full force struggled to contain the crowd with tear gas. Two of their cruisers set ablaze. The city's mayor described the participants as hooligans. The reason for all of this chaos? A hockey game lost by the hometown Canucks to the visiting Boston Bruins. For the first time in 39 years, the Boston Bruins have won the Stanley Cup. It was the seventh and last game of hockey's Stanley Cup Finals, a winner-take-all end to what had been a brutal series. And that intensity, exacerbated first by last night's loss and the riotous result, left the city broken and burning. This is wrong for the city. This isn't the reputation we want. This is not what the people want. This is wrong. I'm embarrassed. We have reports of more than 100 people that have been treated for exposure to tear gas, and police aren't saying just how many people they have arrested. Of course, if you remember, Vancouver erupted in similar riots in 1994, the last time the team, Robin, lost Game 7 of a Stanley Cup final. It's so tough to lose at home mm -hmm. like that. No excuse, and unfortunately, the ugly side that we sometimes see in sports. All right, Josh. Indeed. Thanks.